everyone, welcome back. So today I thought I'd do a little get ready with me and also answer some of your questions which I've just asked for on Instagram and you guys are really, really quick on getting questions in and stuff because you're all amazing. And also at the end of these videos, I'm thinking I'm going to start putting like a comment of the day or like a comment of the video or whatever and I'm just going to choose one from either off Instagram or Twitter or the YouTube comments. One of you guys may be featured in one of my videos so I'm going to do that at the end. Please don't like ask to be featured I'm just going to choose random comments also don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to the channel we're currently on 46,700 subscribers which is awesome so thank you so much guys it means the world and also any of my social medias will be down below because as I just said I'll be picking comments and things from some of my social medias so go over to them and check them out and I'm also on Instagram posting quite a lot of outfit photos at the moment which I'm really enjoying doing so head over there if you'd like to see some of my outfits now let's get into the video. Okay, I've got my moisturiser. I'm back. Am I in focus? Out of focus? Who knows? Okay, also I've got my hair up in a ponytail so if I look a bit like an egg at the moment that is why. I'm just using my clean, clean and clear dual action moisturiser. This is so good. I absolutely love it. So good. Definitely recommend you go and check out the clean and clear stuff. Recently been asking me what kind of skincare I use and I bought a whole load of new stuff the other week and it's all clean and clear. And I actually have done a skincare routine if you'd like to go and check that out. I'll leave it in the little eye bubble. Should be over here. I'm not sure. <laughs> just pump some foundation onto the back of my hand and then I've got my beauty blender which I've already dampened. I'm gonna answer some of your questions. Have you ever wondered what life would be like if you hadn't started YouTube? And the answer to that is yes, I have wondered what life would be like if I hadn't started YouTube. Sometimes I think maybe would it have been easier? Would it have been like less stressful? <laughs> Cause I know a lot of people are like, YouTube isn't stressful, all you've got to do is film, edit and upload video but honestly it is quite a stressful thing. I just really, really enjoy doing YouTube, but everything I upload, I just want to be like my best content. And sometimes that isn't always the case. Um, but yeah, sometimes it is quite hard and I have wondered what it would be like, but I feel like if I hadn't have done it, I wouldn't have became as confident and I wouldn't have been able to find my real passion for like photography and videography and editing and having all these lovely chances to meet you guys just out in public. What is your sexuality? Sorry if this is personal. No, that's quite good. I actually enjoy like watching Q&As with more like personal questions and I usually just get questions of like, what is your favorite color? Um, I'm straight. That sounded really weird to just say on camera. I don't know why. That is really weird. Okay, it must be really hard to come out as like, gay or bisexual on camera because it sounds really weird when you just say your sexuality um but yeah and i'm quite happy with that but you never know something might change guys who is your role model so i'm going to actually do my eyes now um i'm going to use the 17 easy on the eye palette and but it's in the one in birthday suit and i'm also going to use the in the nude palette by w7 i actually don't know my mum asked me a similar question she's like who is your idol she asked me the other day when we came back from meeting um lily singh or superwoman as a some of you may know her on youtube and i just sat there and i was like i actually don't know i used to have an idol and i don't really have an idol anymore and I think it's nice to have one. It's nice to have someone to look up to. I know a lot of you guys say you look up to me and that makes me feel really happy, but I'm like, no, I'm such a weird person. Don't be weird. <laughs> I don't think I really have a role model. And then I realized I was sitting there and I was searching for someone to be my role model. And I think that one day I might watch someone or listen to someone and be like, wow, you're just so amazing. I'm using this color in the Easy On The Eye Birthday Suit Palette. Um, it's like a really nice matte pink and I'm just kind of using it on the outer corner. If a gay slash lesbian friend and they were getting bullied because of it, would you defend them? Um, yes, definitely, because I don't see what the problem is. If you are gay or lesbian or bisexual or whatever, then I don't see what's wrong with that. Like, why can't someone just be happy with who they are? Why can't other people just be happy with... I just oh my god it really it really aggravates me you know when you see like all these horrible like hate crimes about um lesbian or gay people being like 
harassed or attacked just because of their sexuality i don't get it and i'm also out of focus like i would like to think if i came out to people on like the internet then people would just accept it but i know people wouldn't what is your favorite and worst bit about school and would you change about it what would you change about it the worst thing about school um hmm how can i word this without having to go back to school and then people will give me like the evils when i get back w7 in the nude palette and taking this nice rose gold shade and i think i'm just going to put it on the center of my eye like pat it on um the best thing about it probably like the people i love seeing like all of my friends like I do love going back and seeing them, but I must say there is only a handful of people I actually do like at school. So there's a lot of like, something I would change about school. It's all like the talking behind people's backs or like the bitchiness and, or like the drama because I'm gonna use the easy on the eye palette. I'm gonna take this darker color and just put it in my crease, but I'm not gonna use too much of it because I don't wanna go too OTT on it. It's quite dark, um, but you know, when you just want to leave and you start all the teachers annoying you and everyone's just annoying you and you're just like ugh how did you get through the stress of choosing your options i don't think i was actually that stressed about choosing my options i get very stressed over a lot of things now and it's really infuriating but when i was choosing my options i was actually really chilled like since uh, year seven I always said to myself that I was going to do GCSE PE because I love sport and then when it came to it I was just like no thank you now I've kind of gone off PE so I'm kind of glad I didn't do it really um, but I think it's because we do the same thing over and over again but when it comes to choosing your options honestly don't worry about it I know some parents may be a bit more like you need to do this this and this and then they kind of just choose for you and I feel really sorry for you because that's not very fair my mum and dad didn't choose anything for me for my options I just chose it all myself and I chose all of the uh, subjects I wanted to I went to the options evening where they discussed like the different options and then I went back home read through the leaflets and then just chose my options and I chose ancient history RE health and social and ICT BTEC and ICT is like a com computing course if you'd like to know also i've just used the mac is this what are you mineralized concealer my sponge uh, but yeah don't stress and i know it's a lot easier to say it than do it um but don't stress just choose the things that you want to do that you enjoy and honestly if you can get your gcse's you're sorted and if you go into college then people when you go for jobs aren't really going to look at your gcse's they're going to look at your a levels a levels are really random um i'm taking re and english which are kind of linked not really linked they're quite written subjects and then i want to take photography and it's more my like creative outlet and i said it to one person they were like oh that's really random and i was like yeah but i don't want to do like maths chemistry and there's another one that goes and statistics a level like i don't want to do that two more written subjects and then a more creative outlet but those options are only if I go to this one college because the other college I want to go to actually doesn't do photography and it makes me really sad. Okay, uh, what's your favourite outfit at the moment? Um, probably, okay, I'm going to have to put some, I'm going to zoom out because I'm going to put some photos on screen now. So I'm going to take my Max Factor blush. This is a new one and it's in the shade 06 Lovely Pink. And I'm just going to take my little 17 Cheeks blush and just put it on the apples of my cheeks. This is so pretty. Look at that. Um, anyway. What is the question? Uh, what is your favorite outfit at the moment? My favorite outfit at the moment is probably like mom jeans, a black belt and a t-shirt, which is literally what I'm wearing today. Um, on my Instagram, I've been posting quite a lot of outfit posts and things like that, because I've ordered quite a few new like pieces of clothing and I love them so much and I just really wanted to show them to you all. It I bought, which came yesterday. I'll put a photo of it on the screen now because I bloody love it. It's from ASOS Marketplace and the people that actually um, make the coat reposted my photo and I was so damn happy about it. I'm just gonna put some highlight on and this is from the Sleek Solstice palette. I'm taking the shade, this like peachy shade. I don't know what shade it is because I've lost a little card that goes in, in it. Cute, really like that. What's your favorite brand of shoes at the moment? I work at shoe and I'm interested. My favorite brand of shoes are probably Vans. I actually really want to go and buy these Vans I saw and they are so nice. They're like this 
a sand like desert colour and they're so nice for the summer and I really want to go and buy them because my vans I have at the moment are like the um, old school like skater ones and they're like the high top ones and I really want just some of the shoes. I'm just bronzing and doing a little bit of contouring even though I'm not really contouring and I'm using this body shop bronzer. This is my mascara, this is the Max Factor Master Precise Max Mascara and it is pretty good. If you couldn't have Buddy as a pet, what pet would you have instead? It can't be a dog. Um, ah, okay. I don't think I really want a cat because they scratch. I do like cats, but I can't deal with cat hair everywhere. Because Buddy doesn't really molt, like his hair doesn't molt, so I couldn't deal with like a cat. Um, if I couldn't have Buddy, I'd be really sad. But if I could have another pet, I have had a rabbit, which was called Bluebell. Um, I've had a hamster which is called Cookie. I would love to have like either a rabbit or a hamster again. Okay, I can't talk whilst I'm putting this lipstick on. Hang on a second. Guinea pig. I might have a guinea pig. Okay, guys, it's either a rabbit, a hamster or a guinea pig I'd have. I think I'd have a hamster again because they're so cute. It was so sad when my hamster died. I was so sad. I don't think I got over it for like a few months. I really love that hamster. She was called Cookie and she was the cutest thing ever. I don't <laughs> That's cute. So that is the NYX Liquid Suede and that is in the shade Sandstorm. Very pretty. I think that is my makeup look done. I just need to brush out my eyebrows a bit. Okay guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I actually really like it and it went quite successfully seeing as I was talking. I thought it was going to go a bit wrong. But I really enjoyed filming this. If you'd like to see more videos like this where I answer some of your questions, because I haven't done it in a while, then give this video a thumbs up so I can know. And also don't forget to subscribe and check out any of my social medias. I really appreciate it because I will be putting a comment of the video. Every video for a while, I'm not sure how long it's going to last for, but I'll try and make it last for a while. And the comment today is going to be on the screen here, so thank you so much for commenting, and I love you so much. And yeah, so I'll see you all very, very soon. I hope you all have a good weekend and a good week if you're going back to school. And yeah, bye!